Hi, my name is Jack. I'm a designer and video creator living in London and today I'm going to be showing you the easiest way to split bills and rent with your roommates. If you're a young adult or a student, it's more than likely you live with at least one other adult who you have to split all your rent, your bills, internet, other different costs like toilet paper, that kind of thing with. And this can get confusing, you can lose track of who's paid for what, who's transferred each other. So the solution I have to show today makes all of that super easy and just becomes a second thought and you don't even have to have the awkward conversation about who owes who how much. So the app that I use to accomplish all of this is named Akasa. Me and my housemates have been using it for roughly a year now and it has made our lives so much easier. After the pain of the initial setup, we really don't think or talk that much about money because previously you might be chasing your flatmate for like the 50 pounds they own for the internet or utility bills, which could even end up with arguments because it hasn't been tracked properly. So in this video, I'm gonna give a full guide on how to use a Casa. I'll give a tour of the app, uh, show you how to invite your flatmate, how to add different costs, how to edit those costs, how to view if you owe anyone any money, and also how to request money from your flatmates if they owe it to you and then also what you do once you've actually paid someone outside of the app. So taking a look at the app, this is the home screen. Uh, you can see little icons to represent the different flatmates. This is a test home I've set up, so it includes myself, uh, Pippin, Sam and Frodo. Uh, you see these little message icons next to Pippin, Sam and Frodo once you're fully set up. Uh, those won't show but I'll uh, talk about why those message icons are showing in a moment. There's an OK hand gesture underneath each of the names. That means everyone's settled up, they don't owe any money to each other. But the reason for that is because we actually haven't added any costs to our app yet. Uh, it also says the same below, you're settled up with this house. Um, that means you don't have to chase anyone for any money which is great. But then again we haven't added the actual cost yet. Then you have a plus button in the bottom right corner. This is where you record a payment or track a cost. Uh, there's a menu on the left. You can see your own name, uh, your name of your house, which I've just called test house. If I click that drop down, that lets me switch to uh, my actual house, which I won't do because it will show my address. Uh, so underneath home, uh, there's spending. This shows uh, all the money I've spent and then all the money uh, the house is spent because your flatmates might have costs that don't actually involve you. So for example, if Frodo bought a beer for Sam for five pounds, uh, they'll just add that as their own personal cost between the two of them. But then the five pounds that is owed will actually be taken into consideration of the overall calculations of who owes who money. That might sound a little complicated, but we'll get into that later. Uh, then underneath that is bills. Uh, this is actually a feature that I haven't used before, but it does seem super cool. Through this, you can actually sign up to different utility companies through Acasa, meaning they automatically adds the different costs and how much you use things through the app. Um, all the services we use are external to Acasa. We've uh, we'd already started our subscriptions and things like that before we downloaded the app. Uh, however, maybe if I moved into a new house, I'd probably try this feature because I think it would make things a lot easier. Uh, then notifications. The only notification in there at the moment is you set up the house and then we have settings, leave a review, support. None of that is super interesting. So let's take a look at how you add your flatmates. Uh, so when you initially set up the app, it lets you choose the number of flatmates you have and lets you name them. And then when you get to this screen, you click the message icon uh, and then you can send an invite. So with this, you can either get your flatmate to scan the QR code or you can send them the link or you can share it for a messaging service or social media with the button at the bottom. That's super useful. Then once all your flatmates have accepted your invite to the house, you'll all see the same house, the same costs, and you're all ready to use the app. So let's take a look at how to add the costs. I'm actually gonna run through kind of how to set up all the costs for a house. So that'll include like rent, utility bills, internet, council tax, that kind of thing. All really exciting things, obviously. <laughs> so if we click the plus button in the bottom right corner and then click track cost, uh, you get the choice of lots of different categories. So things like food and groceries, home supplies. For this one, I'm going to click uh, rent and mortgage. So for this made up house, I'm gonna put the cost of rent as 2000 pounds. It's split between four people. Uh, so uh, 
on the right you can change this what for rent slash mortgage um, just for the sake of it because this is rented a property I'm just gonna change it to rent uh, who paid uh, I'm gonna say I pay for that 2,000 pounds it comes out of my account every month so the due date for this uh, I'm gonna put as today just so it actually shows uh, in the app once we've uh, set up this cost and then it is a monthly cost we pay rent every month uh, if you click continue this is where it gets cool because it actually automatically calculates how much each person owes but what makes this even more useful is that you can actually change the percentage or part of the cost that each person pays so say if Pippin has a bigger room than uh, Sam we can change uh, Sam's rent to 400 pounds and we can change Pippin's to 600 pounds which means Pippin is paying 30% of the rent and Sam is only paying 20% it still adds up to the overall 200 pounds and the other um, amounts aren't actually affected and it shows that I have spent 1,500 pounds and then it shows how much each of my flatmates owe me for that so you can see pretty quickly how this is going to go in terms of when we add other costs so I'm going to quickly add a few more costs and we'll see how much everyone owes each of them so you can see as you add different costs it automatically works out how much each person owes one another um, you can also click on who owes who how much so if I click on settle up it says request money from Frodo uh, because Frodo owes me 600 pounds everyone actually owes me money so Frodo owes me 600 Pippin owes me 460 and Sam owes me 340 but let's say uh, one month your landlord decides to raise your rent it's actually super easy to change uh, one of your costs you just go to uh, spending then go to the cost you want to change this example is rent and the landlord has not been very nice the landlord has raised our rent by 200 pounds uh, I'm still going to be paying for that every month and the way we're gonna split that um, I think because Pippin still has the bigger room Sam's now gonna play pay 450 and uh, Something useful that I've just noticed that I hadn't noticed before is if uh, it doesn't add up to the overall total it says £100 short so that makes it clear to me that Pippin needs to pay £100 more to now be paying £650. So that's done. If I go back to the home screen the different amounts that people owe each other has been automatically updated which is very very cool. The different costs you add also don't have to be monthly reoccurring ones so you can just track um, a very general cost so say um, on food and groceries say Frodo actually um, bought lots of food and cooked everyone a really nice dinner last Friday uh, so Frodo paid for that but uh, Frodo was really nice to cook it but in exchange everyone else uh, was actually paying for it so Frodo is paying for none of the ingredients so just by unselecting Frodo it actually automatically calculates how much everyone else uh, owes for that so if I click done it actually changes Frodo's amount that he owes down to 620 pounds from 650 and add those costs onto everyone else so now let's actually start paying for these costs so Pippin owes me 520 pounds Pippin would go into his bank account, pay me £520 and then go back down to the plus button, record a payment. Um, because I am not Pippin, this is a little bit different to how you would usually do it. So once I've added the £520, it shows both people's before and after balance. So now if I click pay, you're about to pay £520, click paid outside a casa and after a few seconds that updates so Pippin's got that okay sign that means Pippin doesn't owe anyone any more money so Pippin I'm sure is very happy I'm now only owed £1,020 and the other people uh, still owe £400 and £620 so I've just added payments for everyone to make it show that they're all paid off so now everyone's okay I'm just going to show you what it looks like if I owe someone else money. So I just added a two pound cost that Pippin paid for and it's being split equally across the whole house. 
This means that I owe Pippin 50p. From the home screen, it isn't actually clear who I owe. So if I want to know who I need to transfer money to, I just click settle up and it says send money to Pippin. If I click on that, I can actually click mark as paid once I've paid. And once that's done, it tells me my payment has been recorded and I'm back to being all settled up in the house. Now you can choose how you want to manage these things, whether uh, you get to a certain threshold and then that's when someone's expected to transfer someone else. Or maybe on a certain day each month, maybe when your rent comes out, it's like right on this day, everyone has to settle up how much they owe each other. So I think that's pretty much everything to show on Akasa. I hope I didn't miss anything. It's a really awesome app. It's free on the Play Store and App Store. So I definitely recommend giving it a download if you think this would be useful to you. If you're new around here, I'd really appreciate if you went and checked out my last two videos. The last video was a challenge where I lived off only five pounds for an entire week eating vegan food and the video before that was a tour of my minimalist work from home setup. Thanks again for checking out this video and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.